RJ here again. Got a war for it, trial for it, normal. Let's get on with this. It's a quite a long one. This is one probably the longest one that you will do. It's defeating a hundred enemies without being killed. You don't have a rune stone to so bring yourself back to life. Once you're dead, you are dead. You have to trial again. It's quite a difficult one to do. Um, and it will take you probably a few attempts to do so. What you probably need to do is to look at each section as they come at you, each wave, and decide how you're going to deal with it so that at the end of the day you can complete the trial because you know what enemies are coming and how you're going to deal with them. It won't always work out that way. They do slightly change the patterns that when they come at you, but you've got to know what your enemies' strengths and weaknesses are to actually use the right weapon, i.e. the blades or the axe. Very testing on this, it'll test your patience, your skills, your determination to complete it. Um, and then obviously the same trial again, trial 4, is on a hard level but it's completely different altogether. I've done a video for that and obviously once you watch this one if you want to, I would recommend that you watch the next one because it is a different pattern and a different um, ending that you need to worry about. On this video, it's uh, over 15 minutes long, so it did cut out on me. About 23 left standing. I cleared them off, and then obviously I just added a bit on the end to show you what you can gain resources wise for this. And obviously, that last 23 will give you a challenge not knowing what's coming up um, to finish off the actual trial. Once you get to that stage, I'd, I would probably uh, presume you will be able to finish it because you've got, you've got that far. Please subscribe to the channel and put a like down if you like it. Obviously I'm doing more of them. Uh, I'm covering quite a few games and I've just started so I would appreciate it. Thank you. As you can see here now I'm using quite a lot of my skills. Um, you'll need every skill you've got. You can determine which skills you want to use, which you like using the best the most. I don't think there's anything that would make a difference whether you use one specific one or not. It depends on what you feel quite comfortable with because you'll be using your skills multi times so therefore you should be able to um, work out which ones might be best for you keep out of this circle if you stay in the circle it will take half your health away I'm using a, a, an aura circle of aura which minimizes this damage to me and this definitely did help me get through certain stages with the travelers I tend to find that also if you're in the circle you can use your hands and fists and do a lot more damage than you would do with the, the axe or the blades. I tend to sometimes use a rage on these as well. Get that skull down with your axe, get it down. That'll take a bit away from him, give you a chance to jump in there and finish him off. If you don't jump out that circle, you get half your life taken away. That's just proved it for you there. Try and conserve as much as you can of your health and your rage. I do tend to use a rage in a very short burst just to disperse one or two enemies that get too close. But especially with the hammers because they do a lot of damage. A lot of damage on the hammers. I hate these ones. I bet you've got one that you hate yourself as well. There's always one that you don't like enemy you know, that you find difficult sometimes. These tend to swing very quickly and do take a bit of health away to you when they hit you. They gang up on you as well so always one comes from behind or from the side you've not seen them. You know, I do like using certain skills. There we go, I'm just showing you there. I'm using a bit of rage. Cancel it off so you don't use it all. A lot of people tend to reali don't realise they can actually cancel the rage at any stage by pressing the two buttons again. Uh, and it does save a lot of rage for your next time you want to use it. You've got to keep at least one bar for it to activate. So therefore, watch what you're doing with that rage. Don't use it too much until you need it.
as you can see we're quite a bit into the, the actual fight, 5 minutes and we're down to 79 remaining. We only killed 21. You get a very clever mixture coming at you, different ones, which are timing differently as well for you. Some will rush at you, some will hang back, some will jump in you know, at you with more than one at the same time, like these three coming forward. Try and use uh, Astros' uh, arrows to delay them, to keep them still, so you can actually get into them straight away. You can do your skills, get into them again, get into it, go on, finish them off. He's gone, he's nearly gone. As you can see, you've got to keep on at them and be given a split second, they will come back at you. That one came from the side and got me. If you use some of the uh, ruins and whatever to help you with your build up, you can put um, some resistance to fire, to ice, to poison. It's worthwhile putting on whatever you can. The unstoppable aura, which I'm actually wearing, does help quite a lot. It prevents a lot of the actual damage that you normally get. Can you see that there? I actually knocked him off the edge with my rage and that does a job of killing him without even touching him. These are fast, these two with the two axes are very very fast, watch out for these. You think they're slow, they're very fast, they'll just shoot at you, run at you. I'm going to try and slow them down so you can actually catch them and kill them. I've been caught out many times in different trials with them. And obviously the travellers are the most important ones you have to watch out for. This is why I use my rage if I can, uh, because I've got two of them. One's hard enough to fight at this level, but two is even worse. I'm losing the health, but I'm still keeping myself going. The rage helps you to do that. So if you ever get really low on health, and you've got rage there, use your rage. It'll give you some health back. It'll keep you going. So keep dodging the moves, give yourself a chance. Watch them ones with the eyes, throw the eyes, use the arrows to get rid of them. They're very susceptible to the arrows, which normally kill them. Bring him into your ring so you're going to lose less. Get that skull down. As soon as you can get that skull down, get it down. I missed that one. Second one. The, the ring saved me then, otherwise I'd have been dead. as far away from as you can and uh, go in them as you can you can actually attack him. Get that down, get it'll knock a bit of health off him as well. Follow him up. He's going. Get him before you get a shoot. See, he's gonna take it away from you. You're gonna have to get him. Here they come again, ganging up on you with these big hammers. With a pain. Keep using your arrows, you arrows take a lot out of them as well. And also, it'll travel to somebody next to you so they can't kill you or they can't shoot at you. With the I'm doing this level and all the levels uh, at level 6, just turning 6 on, on my armour and my weapons are at level 4 and 5, or 4. 
when I complete the last trial on this and I kill the bulk Valkyrie, I'll get the um, resources to upgrade my blaze to five. And when you complete the whole region, then you can come back again and do it for farming, which I, I've done in the past. To get all the resources you need to upgrade, anything else you want to upgrade there for the game. I'll just let it play for a bit. You can talk all night if I need to, but I won't do. I'll just watch, just watch the actual rest of it and hope you enjoy it. mention while you're watching it, uh, always try and keep your shield up if you get certain enemies that will actually fire fire at you. You do a good block and a parry it and obviously you'll be able to shoot back whatever they fire and get you. There now, 34 of them. Fine. It will protect your back. Yeah. <laughs> 
As you can see, the video run out. I'm just showing the end now, but I've actually completed it. Like I said, it'd be nice for you to not see all of it and try and look out what you have to do in the last 23 enemies. Um, let me know how you go on with it. As you can see now, when I open the chest up, you do get a bit of uh, resources for it. That's me signing off. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. AJ signing out.